What's up, YouTube? It's Buckshot33, aka Boss and Chris, back with another video. And um, it's been a little bit since I made my last one. Um, I've had a little bit of family issues going on, so I have to go ahead and take care of that first. So that's why I've been away. So, you know, thank you guys for being patient and, uh, you know, checking out my video. But I did get out to my local comic shop um, on Comic Book Wednesday, actually. Um, and I picked up some books yesterday, and I also picked up a couple today. And at the end of this video, I actually have an unboxing that I'm going to do as well. So let's start off with the books that I picked up this comic book Wednesday. We have, first and foremost, Amazing Spider-Man number 15. Nice cover here. We got Alex Ross. And uh, this is Mary Jane as the Iron Spider. And it's a pretty cool read. Um, you know, definitely a fun one. So uh, pick it up if you haven't. I mean, cover's beautiful. So, you know, definitely something worth picking up. Follow that up with... Spider-Man Deadpool number six. This series is hilarious. Like, um, you know, there's all types of different, uh, you know, just jokes, comedy, and just craziness that goes on in these books. Um, this, this one's really funny. Um, th there's actually a scene in here um, where they're walking on a movie lot, and it, there's just so many, like, different, like, uh, little jokes they, they snap in there. Hilarious book. Pick it up. Um, it's one of the hot titles right now. Um, the first the first issue is, I think, up to its sixth printing, so, you know, definitely want to pick up a book. It's definitely a book that, you know, everybody wants it. Um, on to the next we have here, Justice League Rebirth, number one. Um, haven't read this yet. Um, heard a couple of mixed reviews. This one's actually the variant. Uh, Joe Madeira. Oh, it says Mad down in the corner, so you can see the signature Mad. So, uh, you know, picked it up because I really like the cover. Hopefully the contents in the inside are good. Next we have Green Lantern, number two. And um, I really like this series. I, I like how they have uh, Simon Bez and Jesse Cruz as featured in this. It, it's really cool just to see her come into her own and try to learn how to use her powers. Um, also appearance uh, through uh, with the Red Lanterns in this. So definitely a cool, cool book to pick up. Next up is Batman, number two. And this is the... Um, Tim Sale variant. Um, let me just close up for that. So just in case you guys don't know, um, if you've ever read uh, like Long Halloween, um, let's see what else. Long Halloween, um, Captain America, red, white, or blue, uh, Daredevil, yellow. Um, you know he's the guy that does these, and he has a really, really distinct art style. Um, you know, I really like his style. It's really, really cool. So, um, and this book is just, you know, new and different take on Batman. He's actually working with the team in this one. Um, you know, has the, uh, Gotham and Gotham girl in there. So it's just, you know, new characters helping out with Batman. Definitely a cool, uh, cool book to pick up. Um, you know, so definitely pick that up if you get the chance. Following that, we've got some, well, it's the Icon imprint, which is basically Marvel, but... Empress number four, and I really like the series. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of Mark Mala. I, I like the way he, um, you know, I like the way he tells stories. Um, you know, he always has, uh, you know, a little bit of violence in the mixed in with, you know, just you know some really deep storylines. Uh, Mark Mala is the guy that brought us uh, Wanted, Kick Ass, Jupiter's Circle. Um, you know, just a bunch of really really cool books. So if you haven't checked out his stuff, check it out. It's really cool. Um, next. Punisher number three, and I like what they're doing with this book. You know, he he's just you know kick ass Punisher it's all the way through. So definitely a good book to pick up. Following that up with Tokyo Ghost number three. I'm sorry, number three. My ass. Yeah, right. So stupid. Tokyo Ghost number eight, and um, this is actually a pretty cool story if you haven't read it yet. Um, you know, in this book, there's uh, you know. Of this specific issue, um, there's a big battle showdown. Um, cover kind of depicts that, and um, just the villain in this book, like the you know the main villain, is he's he's a psycho. He's he's just re really like kind of nuts, like the Joker, but not. I, I feel like he's um, you know not quite as unhinged as he is. I think he's more calculated, but he's definitely evil. So it's just, it's just a really cool villain to check out. Um, you know. Definitely a good story. If you haven't picked it up, definitely check it out. Um, they're going to be releasing a trade with uh, issues one through five. So if you can't get the uh, you know first few issues of it, the first five, 
pick up that trade and then just you know go along with the rest of the story it's really really cool um, so next we go into um, what I guess is going to end up becoming a um, significant book in this series which is Walking Dead number 156 this has the death of a major character if you haven't um, you know bought it yet or if you follow Walking Dead if you all follow Walking Dead you know who it is um, if you don't and if you just kind of want to get um, I don't know if, if you've just started collecting and you're not quite sure who um, you know these characters are and everything um, but you're familiar with you know the Whisperers and, and, and their group um, you know, this is going to be a really, you know, really big issue to get to. And, uh, you know, has Negan on the cover, so, uh, you know, wherever Negan goes, trouble follows, so check him out. And I actually picked up two copies of it, so, you know, just figured it's a big deal what happens in the book, so good to have two of them. Alright, so I'm going to keep going here. We have Daredevil Punisher number Two, I'm oh, sorry, Dead Devil Punisher number three. And I, I like the art style in this book. It's actually really cool. Um, so, you know, definitely one to pick up if you if you like the art. Um, you know, just overall pretty cool book. Following that up with Moon Knight number four. And, um, you know, I'm a big fan of the cover arts. I'm uh, sorry, the covers of these books. The story is kind of, the story is really good. It's just, um, you know, the, the, the cover of it. Um, really sells it to me. Um, the on the inside, a little different. Not 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 quite as you know, not quite as as um, detailed as some other books. But the story is really really good. So definitely um, check this out. It's only four issues in, so really easy to pick up and catch it from the beginning if you haven't already. And next up is Superman number two. And this is kind of cool because um, you know starting Superman over again, um, he has a son. And, um, you know, he, he's just kind of, you know, they're showing you how he's interacting with the son and, you know, just that new aspect of Superman. So they're kind of trying to reinvent him as a father figure. And then also he has a, you know, super powered son, which is pretty cool. So I'm interested to see where they're going to go with this. Um, you know, definitely a different take on the character. So, uh, you know, worth checking out. And this is just a regular cover, no variant here, yeah, just regular cover. And then at my local shop, um, they're having a little bit of a sale. Uh, so it's just uh, back issues are 50% um, off or 55% off. So I picked up a couple books. Um, first one up is Daredevil number 226. And this is just a really cool cover. Like I, I always like this cover where he's fighting that gladiator. Um, it's funny just because, you know, I've kind of gone on a little bit of a Deadpool run. Like I ha I've, I've bought more Deadpool. I say Deadpool. Why do I keep saying Deadpool? Wow. I've collected more Daredevil. I've gone on a Daredevil run. And, um, you know, I have picked up a bunch of different issues of this guy. And, um, you know, it's just funny just because, you know, growing up, I wasn't really a huge Daredevil fan. I was more of a Spider Man fan. And, um, you know, after, you know, watching the series and, and just, you know, I, I know a few of his major storylines, but I really, really just like, um, you know, I'm just kind of getting back into it and just trying to collect them just because overall, you know, he's a really cool character and, um, you know, definitely someone who's worth exploring. So, uh, you know, if you like Daredevil and you can get out and get the single issues, if you have, um, you know, local shop with some sales, pick some up because um, I would say, you know, the Frank Miller run is one of the best you'll, you'll be able to read. Really, really good stuff. So, um, you know, definitely check out Daredevil if you haven't. Um, also picked up Planet Hulk. This is number 97. And um, it's a pretty long run with Planet Hulk. Um, goes from 92 to 105. So I was happy to be able to pick this up just because I, you know, I don't have any of these and I, I really want to read the story. I've never actually read it before. Um, I also know that the, I guess there's plans in the works to make a, or at least, at least rumors that, uh, that they might be doing a Plan Hulk movies, so definitely wanted to pick these up just to have, um, you know, just to have the ability to go ahead and um, collect those before they get hot, before the movie comes up, and that, you know, basically, you know, two dollars and twenty-five cents, it's a steal. So, you know, I'm gonna pick up as many as I can. Hopefully, hit up my LCS tomorrow, or you know, another different LCS in the area tomorrow, and try to get, um, you know, a couple more of these if they have them in stock. But picked up also number ninety-nine. 
And um, with this, um, you know, as you look at this, so, so this one is Anarchy Part 4. This one was Anarchy Part 2. And um, basically the story is broken up into different sections. So that's the Anarchy Part. And then um, picked up also number 100. And this is a Alliance, or no, is it Allegiance uh, Part 1. And as you can see, um, so right here, right by my middle finger, that is the woman that ends up being um, Hulk's wife on Planet Hulk. And um, the mother of uh, Hulk's son, Ska. So I'm not quite sure if this is the appearance of him. Like I said, I've never read this. So I don't know if this is the first appearance of Hulk's son, but definitely one you know that I'm happy to get. And so I plan on trying to collect that whole run, hopefully pre-movie, so I can get out without having to worry about getting any sort of... Um, mock-ups or anything crazy going on so that was my LCS haul that's the books I picked up so far this week and now I'm gonna go on to an unboxing so um, subscriber of mine that is uh, friends with Simplify comic guy named John um, you know went ahead and uh, talked with me he said that uh, he had some books pretty you know to go ahead and um, check out you know that he was selling so I went ahead and picked one up from him and uh, you know definitely excited I told them I'd uh, do an unboxing once I got it, so that's what I'm going to do. So go ahead and grab the tape off of that. Did a really good uh, job packaging this, even though I said, you know, put handle with Carol over it and, uh, you know, good amount of tape on the box. So, get up under all that. Here we go. All right. As you can tell. So, as always, I like to show people that do really good packaging. Look at that. That's awesome. Get the packing peanuts just to make sure that it doesn't get crushed at all. And then also, few very thick layers of uh, bubble wrap. So let me go ahead and just slide this out. I'm trying to make as le <laughs> the least amount of mess as possible, but what is the fun in that? You know, it's always fun to tear into a book and get it going. So get my razor out again. Cut through some of this protection. Alright, and even with that, get another layer of protection. Nice and bag. Go ahead and get that out. Oh, that's pretty. There we go. Alright. So very nice. Oh, wait a minute. This is pretty cool. I got another little package along with it, so that's awesome. Uh, so, without further ado, let me go ahead and show the book that I got from um, from John, and it is Boom, Amazing Spider-Man number two fifty-two, and this is. Ties in with Marvel Team Up 141 as the first appearance of the black costume. Um, and it has an amazing fantasy uh, 15 cover swipe. So, um, if you're ever looking for the uh, outside of the uh, Secret Wars, the first appearance of the black suit is this book along with Marvel Team Up number 141, which I also have. I don't have it beside me specifically. But I will show, um, I'll go ahead and, and show that together in another video. 
But, um, you know, definitely want to say thank you again to John. That was really, really cool, really awesome. And I got it for a great price from him. Um, so, uh, you know, if, you know, you're ever looking at I don't know if he's ever going to do um, the Blast Out of Stash at Live Auction Show. Hopefully he does because he's got some great books. He, um, you know, sent me a list of books. And so, um, you know, once I get a little bit more cash flow and everything, I'll probably be dealing with him again. So, John. Thank you very much. Book is awesome, man. And I also wanted to just go ahead and get into this extra package that he got because I didn't know this was coming. So um, thank you again for this. This is really cool. All right. Oh, wow. Very nice. So along with this, he gave me New Warriors number one, which is really, really cool. Really nice copy of it, too. This, wow, it's very, very nice. And we got ourselves Dark Horse Comics, The Terminator. And this is actually a really sick cover, too. I like this a lot. Wow, that's really nice. Well, I just want to say thank you again to John. That was really cool. I had no idea that that was coming along with, um, you know, the Amazing Spider Man 252. So, um, you know, thank you very much, John. That was really, really cool. Um, you know, just thanks again, man. I just, I like, just so gracious to be able to, um, you know, get hooked up with a book, um, you know, and then also, you know, be able to, you know, just make a really cool purchase of a book that I've always wanted to get. It's not on my, um, it, I didn't put it on my list of, uh, books I wanted to pick up for 2016, you know, or next year. It was going to go on my, my list for next year. Um, I just never had a chance to pick it up. I didn't put it down because of some of the books I was focusing on. But, um, you know, just thank you very much. So now I can already say that, you know, this is off my list and I'm going to be able to, you know, uh, just solidify and get some other books, you know, later on. So um, with that, just wanted to thank everybody for watching. Um, again, uh, thank you guys for all the patience just because, you know, like I said, I have been dealing with a family issue. Um, so I, I've been away for a little bit and I uh, haven't had a chance to make some uh, to make videos or anything like that. But um just want to thank you guys for your patience. Thank you guys for watching. Again, this is Buckshot33, a.k.a. Boss and Chris. And please comment, uh, subscribe, like, and, um, you know, just, uh, as always, happy collecting. Have a great weekend. And I'm out. So, peace.